Well, I'm in one of the most beautiful gardens, and you know, it's the first time I've been here too, people, so let me tell you, it is breathtaking. I'm here with Karen Cavender, and Karen, first of all, what is the name of this place? Cecil and Molly Smith Garden in Newburgh. It's a beautiful woodland garden with lots of extra companion plants, and it's over 50 years old. Wow. It was the early 50s to mid-50s when they started to get established, and both Molly and Cecil had been in the area, but he liked the air drainage in the garden and started growing special plants. So were they members of the Rhododendron Society themselves? Very much a part of it, instigating, and he was very much a part of the seed exchange. So he got to know a lot of special people, and he therefore got a lot yeah. of different shrubs, plants started. Well, it, it often is about great connections with yes. other people. Yes. So I, I have to tell all of you all that, you know, behind me you'll see this beautiful uh, rhododendron loderi, and it's massive, and we're on the second floor, so you can see how much higher it goes up from the second floor. And it smells good. Oh, the fragrance it's is heavenly. I, fragrance. I'm wondering, let's, let's take a guess. How old do you think these species are right here? Well, probably close to the 50-year mark. Wow, yeah. and absolutely stunning. So, you know, it just goes to show you that just because it's a rhododendron doesn't mean it's going to stay small. Some of the varieties some of can get will. quite large. <laughs> <Some> <laughs> of, and the sculpture of the trunks yeah. on these older rhodes are, are just amazing. And then coming up, like on our second story deck, and looking down, you can see how, so many different colors yeah. and shapes and sizes. Well, and, and because they're, I think what really makes this so wonderful is it's not just rhododendrons. Those are like the, the jewels in the crown, yeah. but you had mentioned other plantings and underplantings. There's just a plethora of cool, beautiful plants throughout this garden. Yeah. And it starts early in the yeah. season, the erythroniums, hellebores, the daffodils, hibiscus, uh, not hibiscus, what do I want to say? It, we, we, it could be hibiscus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. so, and then we'll go through May at least. Now, if you're a member of the Rhododendron Society, you can come here anytime it's open and look, but if not, there's a $3 charge, right? Uh, there is a $3 charge to non-members, and we do have special tours for groups of 10 or more. Uh, the garden is officially open only on the weekends yeah. during the uh, April and May. Well, you know, the fun thing about this is because it is a new garden for us here at Garden Time to visit, too, we would love to invite you to come out and visit. And then uh, they can come here on Mother's Day weekend, look at this place. Mm -hmm. Then they have a big goings-on at the Crystal Spring Rhododendron Gardens the as well. Rhododendron Crystal Springs Gardens has their annual show, trust show, and sale at Crystal Springs Garden, and you can bring in truss exhibits from 7 so to nine, 9 in the morning, and the show starts uh, to the public yeah. at noon. Now, there will be a few plants to sale at this garden here, but yes. the majority of them will be up there. But the main sale, and they have all shapes and sizes, and knowledgeable people to help you out. It's very and true. accessible help so you can pick up your yeah. lovely plants without <laughs> having to hike two or three blocks with them. Well, let me tell you, I, you know, I see a lot of plants. I've been in the industry a long time, and these are breathtaking examples of rhododendrons. So if you want more information, go to gardentime.tv. We can click you over to the website, get all the information you need, go out and see these beautiful examples of nature. Karen, you are an angel. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you, William. <laughs>